Hey, what's up guys? So Yu-Gi-Oh! The official Twitter decided to go ahead and post a survey for us and I figured I'd go ahead and take it for you guys and I'll kind of explain, you know, my personal thoughts on some of these questions. This is my first time checking it out and I'll pin it down below in case any of you guys want to go ahead and check out the uh, official source of this. But this could maybe give us an insight to what's to come in the future for the game as well as give them some feedback on what currently exists in the game. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So it says, attention duelists with everything upside down these days. We'd like to know what's going on in your corner of the world with Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Please note this information will only be used for research purposes and not sold or shared outside of Konami Digital Entertainment. All right. Anyway, so uh, to go over the first question, it says, what is your history with Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG? Dude, we've been playing this game forever. I'm playing it consistently over the past few years. Uh, I'm a new player, Kappa. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm always playing uh, in newer decks and, uh, you know, just playing essentially since... Oh, gosh, I, I want to say Eternal Duel of Souls when I first got into it, but I technically bought packs of cards, but I was little. I didn't even know the rules. I think that's how most people start out with the game. And if you guys want to participate, um, you guys can feel free to, again, check the pinned comment as I'll, I'll post the uh, link to it. But uh, anyways, we're currently building a deck. Technically, we're always building decks because once one new card gets announced, so I, I, would, I would have to ha say yes. We're always building new decks over here. Um, but anyways, what kind of decks are you currently building? Uh, well... It's, I literally play everything. Can you select more than one? Because I pretty much do everything because the thing is, is friends and family, I mean, technically, I would say I don't really play with, I guess some Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, family? Do, do, I, I wish, I think that's, that should be a separate option over here, but um, I'm just gonna select these two because I guess like when you go to a tournament, yeah, there, there are some of the people that go to like locals and stuff I consider my friends, but I just feel like the family, it's, it's kind of disconnected. I don't think people, like, can you actually play this game with your mom and dad? Like, you know how complex this game is? I think for that reason alone, I'm just going to go ahead and not select that one, but I'm going to select this one. Um... I mean, I guess that's experimental. I was gonna put like stuff for memes, but like, you know, just trying to do like, like really, really inconsistent, like, you know, FTKs and dice things. Those are kind of experimental anyways. So I guess it's kind of the same. Uh, next up, have you tried remote duels? Uh, remote, du for Duel Links? I mean, I've played Duel Links before. What? Link Evolution? I mean, technically when you're playing online, isn't that like a remote duel anyways? I'm just going to select this because this is legitimately how I feel about this. Do they consider remote dueling uh, like a Skype duel? Because this is like the same thing. Like I have tried it, but I'm not. I, I also kind of want to select that I'm not necessarily interested in remote dueling um, in a sense where you actually have to physically have cards. I feel like in, you know, in this day and age, we should have access to some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh game like Link Evolution that pretty much is going to be replacing... Um, the way that we play Yu-Gi-Oh! online with like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, EDO Pro, Dueling Book. I wish that this was just like a way for us to play the game. So I, I haven't really done... Do they consider speed duels? Uh, I guess I haven't really messed with that, but I'm just going to select that. Uh, but anyways, did I purchase the latest core Rise of the Duelist? I mean, technically we buy like almost every set, usually for unboxings, but in this case, uh, I didn't. Oh, that was it for the, the quiz? Okay, wow, that was a really fast quiz. Um, I really feel like they should have, okay, like going back to some of the questions that were uh, you know, asked, I don't know if it's gonna say like you've already taken the survey. All right, it's gonna say we already taken the survey, but I'm, I'm curious to see if I can just copy this link and then just go ahead and open up an in incognito page and see if that lets me uh, go over it. Cause I just wanna go over, I'm not gonna submit like two, but uh, my point of this is basically checking out. I, I'm not sure, I really feel like they should have asked better questions to get a better result here because um with with the history of uh let's say Yu-Gi-Oh over here that this one kind of makes sense because it makes sense in terms of like a a, a move where you're trying to kind of gauge the audience. I think an age uh, would be an okay option as well because some of the artworks on some of the cards and some of the commercials, if you guys have seen, definitely cater towards, let's say, a younger audience. But in terms of who's actually playing the game, let's be honest here, most of us that are playing Yu-Gi-Oh have been playing it for years and most of us would be considered whales where we spend hundreds of dollars in this game. We're not just buying, you know, uh, one copy of a game every single year where like, you know how in some games, like, um, I'll just use like, uh, 
any any sports title, right? We have these new game that come out every single year, Tyler now with all the microtransactions too. But I think what would be a good question is how how many like you know packs would you say that you buy on each set or something like this to kind of gauge you know what the average player is spending because i think the average player spends a lot more than like let's say a 60 dollars title of like a sports game every single year right where we continuously will get new sets every single time and then um i also think what would have been a really good question is you know what rarity do you guys like the most those kinds of things um also i bring back those ghost rares uh but um I think those would be really good questions as well. Do I have to, I guess you have to answer this. Okay, I'm not gonna submit the very final end one, so it won't like double up the results. But in terms of like um, this, do you like fun or, I mean, this could have been easily just two different things. Uh, do you like to play for fun and uh, are you a casual player or are you a competitive player? Uh, again, I think that this would have been just a real simple two question. Um, I didn't know this thing was gonna be this short. Uh, but I really think that we could make this survey a little bit better. I'm just trying to give them some feedback. As it did participate in a survey before, in fact, I was one of the ones that announced it, um, which was awesome, so shouts. Um, oh shoot, was this in, um, I wanna say it was like a San Jose uh, event, but yeah, they let me do like this uh, survey thing, and then once people like filled it out, they hooked me up with uh, a bunch of packs and stuff, which was quite nice uh, of them, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just select this. And then I think this was um, the last page over here. Uh, but in terms of this, I think it's a little bit unclear on what the heck, uh, I thought remote duels was basically just the cards, but I didn't know that they were doing it for speed duels, or I don't even understand this question in terms of, like, m maybe I'm not understanding it because they consider remote duel as a not playing the physical card game. Um, and for me, uh, personally, I would like to go and move into a digital world where we have not only both the cards, like physically, but we also happen to have a Yu-Gi-Oh! online game that we can play with. And I think one good way to bridge the gap between this and kind of support both of them at the same time is to release a way for us to basically play both of them. And a reason to actually purchase booster packs would be that we also get a digital booster pack. So it incentivizes people to go ahead and still purchase like physical product as you get a digital product at the end of the day, you get another pack which you know um that would still help them have digital sales as well as physical sales um and i think that that would be a good crossover and heck you can even make it so if you really want to support you know both of them side by side is maybe have some tournaments where to unlock a certain card you have to play on the uh, online game a certain amount of duels not make it so it's a, a prize card i want most people to have access to everything but i think a good way for them to go ahead and have this uh mixed up over here is make it so like if you play a certain amount of duels um you just they like mail you like a, a specific card or something like that and it may be like limited like one or two per person or you know, depending on if the card's limited or whatever the case may be but maybe just a play set i think that'd be really cool that way the people that just play physical if they want to get some of those cards they'll just have to uh, play the game and maybe even for people that that um, they want to go ahead and sell the physical product to, maybe the physical product, if you purchase it, you get a very specific rarity of a card. They can even do it with just rarities. You can have like, you know, the prismatic or the, what are they called in, in, in Duel Links? I forgot what it was called. It was called prismatic, right? But anyways, you guys get what I'm saying. I'm saying different rarities of certain cards that would be only available if you played online and then they would mail you that card or something like that or vice versa. In order to unlock this card um, online, you have to actually purchase something to get like a, a higher rarity version of it. That way, you're still not locking people out, but you still have some type of exclusive content to make people excited about it. But uh, anyways, that's my feedback for them on their little survey here because I think that that would be really good. But anyways, you guys can let me know your thoughts on it. What other questions do you guys think would be good? As with the Creator Card Project, we kind of have more support for, of course, uh, getting maybe potential support for some of our favorite archetypes. But I even think what would have been a really good question is what is your favorite archetype? And then that way you can just get, you know, that way there's only maybe... Maybe you could select a couple or something. That way we could see directly, like, you know, what are the most favorite archetypes? Because when there's, a, you know people's favorite thing, people tend to buy it, right? I still think that well, one thing that is kind of missing in the game is a blue eyes and dark magician link monster and actually making them uh, viable enough so that the casual audience that sees those cards from the TV show or even cards like Mirror Force, like those cards just simply don't see play in the metagame and a lot of people will laugh at the players playing those and then that really discourages the younger audience and the newer players from getting into the game. If you've looked at any Yu-Gi-Oh form, you can see how uh, hard it is for a younger player to be like, hey guys, what do you think of my deck? A lot of people just aren't that friendly in the Yu-Gi-Oh community and uh, that is something that maybe needs to be addressed in the future. But again, I'm just trying to give it them a more realistic side of things as if you look at the Yu-Gi-Oh game, they, they turn off the comments on almost everything, but they, they still want some feedback, which is good steps in the right direction, I hope. 
um, things can look out a little bit better in the future. But anyways, felt like I rented off longer than necessary here, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you are new here, subscribe, turn on that bell so you don't miss out on more interesting Yu-Gi-Oh! things like this. I'd like to see what they, they are interested in. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.